guys welcome back to my channel or to my channel i'm cindy if you're new and today's video is going to be how to be the hottest version of yourself the best version of yourself the highest version of yourself glow up tip basically i am always on tiktok and i watch or i saved a bunch of tiktoks about glow up tips and stuff and i compiled a bunch of those tips together in this list i've been following it some of these are mine own these are my own tips uh but yeah it's a lot it's quite the list let's go through it together i'm just gonna hop right in because the sun is setting and i want to film this before it gets dark even though i have studio lights I, I don't want this you know i want it to be consistent the lighting so the first tip is to drink water two to three liters a day i know 75 hard is like super popular right now and i have tried to do 75 hard so many times and i'm good at it like I do half the stuff like I like the reading and the no alcohol I do pretty much that all the time the water kind of I know that's what we're on like the working else where I it's the two workouts and the one workout aside because I live in a province in Canada where it's not I was doing 75 hard for like the third time or attempting for the third time and I was drinking a gallon of water a day and I think it was like within like the first five days maybe i got really sick my stomach was hurting like i just was very bloated i felt like weak faint uh and then i threw up and i was like i, I if you know me i hate throwing up like it's like i have a fear and so so i like did my little google i'm like oh i'm not feeling good google and it basically led me to that i have like water toxicity or like not like to the point that I had to go to the hospital, but basically they were like, you're drinking too much water, just don't drink a lot of, like, just don't drink any water for 12 hours or something, whatever. So I'm not the biggest fan of the whole gallon of water thing. So that's why I said two to three liters. I really am a firm believer in, like, drinking half your body weight in ounces. That's what I try to do every day. The next tip is to journal. If you need more of a direction in journaling, I always do, right now, the thing that, like, I used to do journal prompts. You can look them up on Pinterest. It's pretty easy. Do whatever is, like, the most realistic for you. I do it first thing in the morning, and I used to do it at night. I don't really do it at night that much now because my night routine is just, like, all over the place so journaling i usually do a brain dump first thing in the morning because i'm an anxious little girl and it just helps me kind of like get all that's going on here onto paper i honestly feel like everything i do now like i have such a system in place for my specific anxiety and i don't even really think about the exact things journaling is one of them i do a brain dump and then i do gratitude i do 12 things i'm grateful for sometimes they're the same thing every day sometimes they're different and then i do affirmations i look affirmations up on pinterest because i just feel like it's more it's more of like a focus when you look them up on pinterest than when you think of them in your own head i also listen to, this is like a different thing but i don't think it's on my list i listen to youtube affirmation videos instead of meditating because i feel like meditating i'm not i'm not good at it i the only meditations i really listen to are the superhuman meditations which i can link down below i currently don't have a subscription to them because i they're a little pricey but i will recommend them until the day i die because those are the only ones that i really like i just haven't invested in them recently but i had them for the longest time and then i lost my subscription yeah i listen to affirmation videos first thing in the morning that's very helpful next thing is 10k steps a day which like everybody says that and i am currently on like a health fitness journey i don't like saying that because like i feel like that puts more pressure on it but like i've been dabbling in working out and stuff more and so 10k steps a day like i need to go on walks because i find i go to the gym and i go on the treadmill and i like work out and i also feel like my job requires me to be quite active because i work with kids so i'm chasing them around and i still am like so close to 10k steps but i can't reach it because i come home and i just sit around so i need to be better at that but it's just like such an easy goal for movement especially if you like don't go to the gym or you're not working out or you don't have like a workout routine like just just get your 10k steps in i feel like some people just naturally get that in their day to day and some people like that's just like a good goal to work for next thing is podcasts i love podcasts happy podcasts i'll have some of my favorite podcasts linked down below obviously the skinny confidential it's always like top of the top for me and i always feel like every time i listen to that i will usually listen to that like my drive to the gym is like 
on the longer side it's like 30 to 45 minutes so when i leave the gym in the morning i usually put on the skinny confidential for my drive home and then i finish the episode if it's like a little longer because their episodes can be like an hour and a half i usually listen to the rest of it while i'm getting ready just listen to it while you're getting ready if you don't have a commute to the gym or if you have a commute to work listen to a podcast but it just it just makes me feel a lot better it gives me a better perspective like if i'm listening to music you know that makes me happy but it doesn't like it like shapes the way you're thinking for the rest of the day and it also makes you feel like productive and productive for me like if i feel like i'm being productive it kind of helps my anxiety and if it's like an informative podcast like if you're listening to a podcast about dinosaurs i work with four-year-olds so it's a hot topic but if you listen to like a podcast about dinosaurs like it just like learning and being smarter is like just such an attractive quality and like if you have all this knowledge you'll have more to talk about and like you'll be that person like at a party being like oh did you know i don't know anything about dinosaurs like uh, but you'll like be a person with all these facts and knowledge and like be so knowledgeable next one is something <laughs> i'm not good at is good posture I'm actually horrible with posture i was an esthetician and so I like would constantly look down and like push my neck forward. So I have like a hump on the back of my neck, especially now that I'm like always on my phone. That plus aesthetics like ruined my posture. I was a dancer, like a ballerina when I was little. So like my posture was perfect and now my posture is awful and I really need to work on that. So working on your posture and like slash body language, like you want to be more open. You want to be more helpful. If you're like this, you're not really open. Standing tall shows confidence and being open just shows like you're a more like outgoing person. I'm shy, I'm anxious, <laughs> and like I definitely need to work on my uh, posture. The next one is stop complaining. When I am complaining, I'm pretty good at being like, oh, I'm complaining. But <laughs> like, you know when you're complaining to someone like to vent, and you're like, I hate to complain, blah, blah, blah. That's like, I feel like some complaining is natural, but just be like aware of like what you're complaining about. Like if you're complaining about like stuff that people can't help, like I try to only complain about things that are like like venting. When you complain, first of all, it's you're looking in the negative, so you're gonna feel worse about life. But if you're complaining, like that's not a good look. Like you don't want to be around a complainer. That's not that's not a good vibe. Not a yeah. good look. The next thing is to listen more. I need to work better on like listening and finding things to talk about that art be like I'm really bad at like listening to someone talk and then me like I'm, I'm trying to relate so i'm trying to be like oh well, yeah this happened to me but then i'm like oh i'm steering this conversation into like about me like being about me and i don't want to be that person if you listen to the whole conversation of what someone has to say and then you talk instead of like almost not interrupting but like you know like talking in the middle of their story speak in group settings i'm not the best at this it depends on the group like if i'm in a group if i'm in a group of women that i feel uncomfortable in and i talk and i don't get a good vibe then like i'm only gonna talk twice and if it isn't well received i'm done we're done i'm out you know like it's not cute to be the one that didn't talk the next one is dress for your figure i wouldn't say necessarily dress for your figure but i would definitely say like dress for your comp like dress in stuff that makes you feel good and that could be whatever i'm not gonna tell you to what to wear but like there's definitely like pants that look better on me and some that don't for my body shape be more aware of like what is in your closet and like what you're gonna wear and what and be more strict like i try stuff on shopping and like i used to be like i try it on and i wouldn't love it but i'd be like but this is cute like something can be cute but not cute on you and you can know that and it's good to step out of our comfort zone I, I definitely agree that but like if you're gonna buy it and not actually step out of your comfort zone not actually wear it like you're buying it and in your mind you're like oh this is like so cute but like i don't like how it looks and you're not actually gonna wear it out like don't buy it the next one is know what you're passionate about like have a hobby you know like this is a hobby but like just being able like do, do you ever talk to someone and they're like so passionate about something and it like like i could talk to someone who's passionate about the most random stuff that i'm not interested in but if you're passionate about it like and you're good at talking i will listen to you talk like i could listen to very passionate like well-spoken people talk about anything and so that just like gives you a good kind of like up like about like especially talking public studies like if you are very passionate about something and then like it's just like important to know like what you're passionate about like what your values are what you find important what you 
really are interested in because when you're really interested in something you can then like soak up all the knowledge and it's just good to have something to like keep learning if you're out of school and you're done learning like a lot of our life is like put dedicated towards learning and then like after you're done school you just kind of stop if you have a passion you can keep learning the next thing i have is clean girl aesthetic which is like so that might not be your aesthetic so like follow the aesthetic that fits you and like I find it very hard because like my whole life I feel like I've liked so many different categories or different aesthetics like I whenever you watch those like send this to your friend and ask which one you are and it's like vanilla aesthetic whatever whatever like it's so it was so hard for me for so long because I'm like oh I like that one oh I like that one oh I like that one and so it was hard for me to like kind of find where I fit but like girl it's nice. there's no like you don't need to find a specific label as long as you kind of know what mix match of everything you are so i just kind of like know what your aesthetic is dress for success i say this and <laughs> i'm literally out here going to work in like lululemon jogger and like leggings every single day i have not been dressing for success but guess what i've been feeling really crummy about it whenever i feel cute like i just feel like my day goes good manners honestly people like just be a good person like it's, if i'm holding the door for you say thank you or I will, in my head, like, slam the door on your head. I judge a person, like, if they're a good person, if they're a beautiful person, on how they treat me. Like, I'm, like, constantly like, oh my god, that person's so beautiful. As in, like, they're a good person. I'm not, like, like, I feel like beauty, like, a beautiful person is a nice person. But, like, my boyfriend is constantly being, like, you are the nicest person. You're so nice. You're so nice. Like, the most common... He does say other compliments, but like the most common compliment he tells me is like, you're so nice. The next thing is don't be afraid to talk about yourself and what your aspirations are. I like kind of like gatekeeping my aspirations, but I do think like in certain settings it's okay. Like I don't like when I'm talking to someone and they're like, oh yeah, I'm just like they downplay themselves like don't downplay yourself don't like if you own a business and it'll be like oh yeah my little business no it's not a little business to you that's a big bit like to you that you care about that like obviously you started a business like you're gonna care about it. it's not your little business like give yourself credit give yourself like like no one's gonna give you credit if you don't give yourself credit you know um the next thing is good scent i'm just gonna say like good hygiene like take that into account like the other day, I again, I work with kids. I was buckling one of the kids on the bus because I work with little babies. Uh, not like literal babies, but like I call them little babies. They're like four. I'm buckling this little girl on the bus. And like she's in the other class. She's not in my class. I'm buckling her in. And I like my hair was like kind of like I was in her space because I was just buckling her. And she's like, you smell so good. That made my life. I was like, this four-year-old said I would smell good. Like, you know you smell good when a four-year-old's telling you you smell good. Because like that's not something they care about. They don't care if you smell good. They don't care if you smell bad. If you like smell like neutral, they don't care. You smell good though, and they tell you. I can do like a whole hygiene routine. I've like done like a little bit about that, but I will definitely get into a whole hygiene routine if you would like. Next one, speak slowly. I don't speak slowly. I speak quite fast. So it, I think it's just like if you speak confidently and fast, you're cool. But like some people talk fast when they're nervous, and it's just giving off like the nervous, insecure vibe. So just like think about what you're talking about. Don't need to ramble. The world of difference that made, am I right? Prioritize yourself. It's like really hard to prioritize yourself when you're like doing a million things, but like it's so important. Like even if you can just like schedule out an afternoon a week or an afternoon every two weeks or an, a day a month to just prioritize, like just do your own thing. Set in your schedule if you're super busy to go to the gym. A really like stress makes you ugly. And like I, me and I'm very stressed and I, don't think i'm ugly but again with journaling this helps because you're like brain dumping everything out but like if you journal at night like go through and like think of everything that stressed you out and like write it down and then try to find a solution for it because that's just like you actively trying to like minimize stress in your life and sometimes if you don't don't actively try to minimize it it just like kind of piles up and then you explode the next thing is to stop comparing yourself to others which I like feel like I don't do it at all. I used to do this so bad. I used to have like, do you used to have the app that was like We Heart It? It wasn't even Pinterest, it was We Heart It. And there's pictures like Cara Delevingne and like Tumblr girls. I used to be like, oh my god, I'm so ugly. Like, fuck off. Like, I used to. Like, I used to. And like, I just feel like now I see, like, I know that like two things can coexist. Like, I know that like someone very beautiful, like Gigi Hadid, I don't know. 
can exist and I can exist and we're both like equally as wonderful people you know, like you know like like there's like billions of people on this earth like I'm, I could make a whole video about this like I'm not trying to preach to you right now but like there's literally millions of people on this earth billions of people on this earth and someone's always gonna be smarter than you someone's always gonna be prettier than you like no one's gonna be you no one's gonna have the exact qualities you have there's people in the world who are gonna get along with your unique wonderful package and there's gonna be people who don't and that's the great thing about there being billions of people because you just have to worry about the people who care about you the next thing is invest in good self-care and hygiene products look i know in this economy i'm really into like like these nails are press on are you kidding me um i'll link them down below like, just like things like these make me feel good and then really the last thing i have is plan your outfits with planning your outfits like planning my outfits has really like it just makes me feel planning your outfit helps you like from going like sometimes i wake up i have a beautiful outfit planned and i'm like i just want to wear leggings i'm gonna wear leggings like oh even if my outfit's planned but like at least if you have like a legging outfit planned in your head you won't just like grab a legging like leggings and hoodie kind of thing if you learned something or got a new tip from this video comment down below like what part resonates with you the most or that you've never thought of or whatever <laughs> you can tell i'm like done talking don't forget to like this video because that helps me in my life and subscribe so we can be friends you know thank you so much and i will talk to you in my next video bye guys